All right. Checking my mic. You can hear me okay? I can lose the mask now? All right. Very good. Well, thank you everybody for being here. I am Todd Alford, Director of Product Management for Invinia. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about our latest innovation from our Hamer brand, the 2400 VBP, which is a robotic valve bag placer, unlike any you've seen before. There we go. So actually, let me back up a little bit before we show the video. So let's talk about the types of environments in which valve bags are employed. These tend to be some pretty challenging operations. Uh, the product going into the bags is typically very dusty, dirty, and depending on the nature of the material, can be uh, very harmful and might require that the operators are wearing uh, uncomfortable and restrictive PPE equipment. And now I'll queue up, see if we can get the video to play here. This is a pretty typical example of an operator loading valve or bags onto the valves. It's dusty, it's dirty, and it's thankless all day long. And we're talking about products here like Portland cement, ash, uh, bakery mixes, flour, minerals, biofuels, and others. And for producers of these types of products, uh, what they're recognizing is that finding workers to do this type of work is becoming increasingly challenging. And really, nobody should be asked to do this kind of work if there's a viable alternative. And more and more companies are also recognizing the value of uh, automating their, their processes. And as they do so, uh, they are finding that solutions like this are becoming more and more desirable. In addition to solving for some of the challenges I've already mentioned, it also addresses some of the problems with these types of dusty and dirty, repetitive um, applications. And that's where the Invenia Hamer model 2400 VBP robotic valve bag placer comes in. The robot is consistent, it's reliable, it just operates day in and day out. It doesn't care about doing this type of dusty, repetitive work. It just runs all day, all night, 24 seven, no breaks, no absenteeism, no downtime. And when you look at this, you know, you have to say, why wouldn't I take advantage of this type of automation to not only improve my productivity, but also demonstrate to my workers that I care about their health and safety, and I can turn those workers over to more productive applications within my operation. Now, some of you who are already familiar with uh, valve bag operations, you might be saying to yourself, robotic valve bag placing is not a new concept. What makes this innovative? And to some extent, you'd be right. The use of a robot to put a valve bag onto a valve is not a new concept. But I do want to talk about some of the enhancements and features that we've designed into our system that make it truly innovative. Starting with the robot and the controls themselves, we've partnered with industry leaders like Yaskawa and Alan Bradley to give you the, the greatest flexibility to match your application, as well as uh, lowest total cost of ownership. One of the ways this manifests itself is through minimum valve bag placement failures. We ensure that that bag gets onto the valve consistently and reliably, ensuring that you have highest um, productivity out of your operation. And then in the case of the controls, that gives us the flexibility to be effectively um, just ambivalent about bag size and type changes. We can change on the fly without requiring any kind of uh, me mechanical changeovers or programming changeovers. It does that automatically, and we'll show that in just a minute. But also, our system employs what we call a soft shutdown uh, capability. So in the event that there is an interruption to your operation, let's say you need to shut it down for some reason, or there's a power failure in your facility, the system will automatically uh, shut down Make sure all your uh, critical data, your recipes, your, your programming is preserved. And once you've either put the system back online or power is restored, the system picks up right where it left off and you don't have to worry about either uh, loading a new program or losing any of your critical data. Next and probably just as important is the way we've designed the uh, delivery of bags to the system. Our carousel design offers a number of uh, productivity and safety enhancements that others simply don't offer. The system is capable of handling as many as 400 bags at a time, and that's nearly twice as many as a typical conveyorized solution. And that just frees up your workers or your operators 
to do, uh, spend less time loading bags and onto more productive activities. And it's a two-sided design with one side serving the, the production side or the operating robot, the other side available to load the next set of bags. And here in this video you can see as the robot works through one side of the carousel, it automatically rotates, switches to the next set of bags, moving the other side over to the area where operator can load the next set of bags. And I should mention, with almost no interruption, the robot immediately goes back to pick and place. So maximum productivity. And I should mention in these videos, a lot of the guarding has been removed on these systems just so that you can actually see the operation taking place. In keeping with that flexibility theme, you'll see here, as it moves through one layer of the carousel, the carousel will automatically advance up. And if you pay close attention, you'll notice the bag size changes from one layer to the next. So we've gone now to a smaller bag, again, with no interruption, no pause. The robot just, just doesn't care, just goes on to the next set of bag sizes. Oh, there we go. More important, that loading of the, the additional bags can be done safely and efficiently with what we call our live load bag station. So that, as I said before, it's a two-sided carousel design. While that one side is being actively accessed by the robot, the live load or, or bag loading side is completely isolated from that. And yep, you can see it. You can see most of it here, and we'll show actually a demonstration video of it. So here's an operator. If you notice in the background, and we'll, we'll swing around and you'll see, the robot continues to operate. The operator is able to load the next set of bags so that there's no pause in operation. Again, guarding's been removed here, but rest assured that that access door and the entire system is typically installed with a full perimeter cage with monitored access doors. But bottom line, the way we've designed this, there's really no reason an operator should ever need to go into the operational area of the system. And that just further removes them and protects them, keeps them further away from any harmful airborne dust or particulate that they may get exposed to. Now let's talk a little bit more about uh, the, the types of bags and the flexibility of the system, what it can handle. Basically, as you can see on the screen, with a few exceptions, we can handle almost any type of bag, uh, whether it's single or multi-wall uh, paper, lined paper bags, we can handle smooth and woven poly or polypropylene, polyethylene bags, and uh, in a variety of different configurations. And here we can, you can see some of the, the dimensional range that we can handle, but basically we can load valves or bags onto valves anywhere from three inches to six inches in diameter. And we can handle weightments anywhere from uh, five kilograms to 55 kilograms, or, or basically 10 to 110 pounds with, um, with no issues. Finally, we can lay the system out in a number of different configurations to match the uh, constraints of your facility. The robots can be positioned either in line or offset 90 degrees from the conveyor, and we can load either a single spout or two spouts uh, at a time in the system, and it can be either a left or right operation. So here you can see uh, a single robot system, uh, we go single robot system running left to right with the, the robot oriented 90 degrees to the conveyor and I'll just cycle through some of these other uh, these other layouts these are all single single robot systems and you can see in the layouts here you can see that perimeter cage and guarding that I talked about that that's part of each system so left to right right to left and then finally we can do uh, dual robot systems where you can have two robots running simultaneously, each loading one or two valves, and that can give you a capacity up to 38 uh, bag loads per minute. A single robot can handle as many as 20 uh, loads or 20 bags per minute of valve loading. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this engaging and informative. If you have any questions about uh, the 2400 VBP, or uh, any of the products from our family of brands under Invinia, please come to our booth, come visit us. We'd love to talk to you more about it. And um, I guess uh, last but not least, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out, we have our support pro team always available to you with nationwide technicians to support you with installation, configuration, and maintenance of your systems. 
Um, but I would have to say, and, and stealing some uh, colorful language from one of our uh, RSMs, we keep developing robust and reliable equipment like this, and we're going to leave our Superpro team sitting around, as he might put it, just masticating on their uh, sunflower seeds, just hoping that that next job comes in and that they, that they get the call out. All right, I, thank you very much. appreciate your time. If there's any questions, happy to entertain them.